god, I look white. <laughs> I'm not that white. But I locked it. Weird. Well, today, as you can see on the title, we are going to... Not we, I am. <laughs> I'm going to try out the Kat Von D um, fetish collection palettes. You know, the eyeshadow palette and the face palette. Uh, I have already put on my foundation and yeah, it it's what it is. Um, but yeah, and I have bronzed uh, my face and I used, you know, from my treasure chest uh, the balm, the take home the bronze Oliver shade. But now we are going to do, you know, blush and highlight. And I haven't used this palette yet. Uh, it's called Fetish Blush and Highlighter Palette. And you have um, a mirror. <laughs> It's such a weird material. It's like, you know, leather, but it's not. And you have three uh, highlighters, and I think one is the same as in, um, you know, oh, I can check that. Wait. I think the Rose Shock are in this one as well, you know, this Metal Crush one. Yes, Rose Shock, that's the only one. So that pink shade is also in this one, um, but the other ones are not. Uh, so you have Rose Shock, Magic with C and K, <laughs> and Telepathy. And then you have three blushes that correspond with the highlighter, and they are called Bathory, Salem, and Coven. You know. So I think... Oh, I really like the bright pink, but I really love the coral. And that's a little more like light purple. It looks really pink in this light, but it's more like a light lavender shade. But I think... Should we use orange today? I'm just going to check in the eyeshadow palette. Oh. <laughs> Never mind, let's take the orange. And we'll see. So Salem. Oh, that looks pigmented. Yep. And let's take it on the other side. I usually love to take it up here. God, my eyes look red because I don't have foundation there. I look really sick. <laughs> well. Goomba is sleeping next to me. He's just had a a haircut <laughs> and his uh, claws that sounds wrong but they are have also been cut so he's tired well I like this shade mm -hmm. and I didn't have to use much now we're going to do the highlighter and it's a very glittery highlighter and you know if you have watched Angelica's video she did a video recently with um, how to apply highlighter um, oh, that tickles. Uh, glittery highlighters so if you haven't watched that um, go do that uh, because she talks about these types of highlighters and she actually talks about this brush this is the Sigma High Chic Bone Highlighter Brush in F03. Ooh, ooh, so pretty. Ooh. Then you, you, you do as you wish, of course. But if you like glitter highlighters but don't know how to apply them in a good way, then 
go watch her video. If I remember, I can link it down here in the description bar, but it's one of her recent videos, so you should just be able to go to her channel and find it there. And I like glittery highlighters, but I want them to give up. I want them to be glittery, uh, or I don't want them to be glittery, but I don't mind it. But I also want the regular highlighter effect, because some highlighters are just uh, glittery, and that I don't want. Ooh. sleeps a lot or sleeps hard or whatever you call it because he didn't wake up when I did that I don't want to use it on my nose let's take it down yeah well set over that yeah and I'm actually going to use another highlighter the Fenty Beauty one. Um, I'm going to use the shade Girl Next Door. Looks like that. That's more subtle and it's perfect for these types of highlight. <laughs> this is actually a concealer brush, but yeah. I don't use concealer like that, so like that. <sighs> like that, like that, like that. Now we're going to use the eyeshadow palette. I have not used that at all. Uh, I don't like, I don't mind bulky packaging, but I don't like how this looks. I don't like the shape. I think it looks uh, what are you saying? Um, in Swedish, we say it that it looks kind of bare. Um. I don't know, but I don't I don't like it anyway. And you have that leather feel uh, with the letters, so you can feel it. And then you have a very dark ooh, eyeshadows, and some say that they all look gray, except you know the obvious shades. Uh, but some say that you get really cool looks as well. Um, so let's try that, but I can see that pan is actually coming out. Oh, don't put it in. Yeah, never mind. So what should we do? I think I want to use the green one because that looks pretty, that shade. But we'll see, just take on some, oops. Um, I have actually gone through a bit of my collection and decluttered a bit like cream products um, and that felt kind of good <laughs> and there is a lot more I want to go through and it's easy you know the things that are old or used like that I, I'm just going to throw away but then I have products that are there's nothing wrong with them but I just feel like I'm not going to use them and I don't know what to do with them because I have no one uh, that would want them <laughs> around here and I'm not going to ship it you know so it's no use if you ask me for it because I'm not going to pay shipping um, or the hustle with that for it but it just feels so unnecessary to throw it away and I don't know if I have the energy to try to sell it it's not like eyeshadow palettes or something like that but 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what I do. Mm -mm -mm. Let's do it like that. That might take out the eyeshadow brushes. <laughs> what should we start with? With safe word. That's like a regular lid color. But ooh, it was a lot darker than it looked in the pan. Okay. In the pan it looks like it's my skin color, but that is definitely not how it looks. That's weird. <laughs> okay. That was really weird. And now Everyone so sticky. Is there a lot of shimmers? In? There are some of those chunky shimmers, but they actually feel dry. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, they were not that chunky as they look. They look like the ones that are always leaking oil into the palettes when you have them. I don't know if you know what I mean, but yeah. This is such a weird shade. Let's see if I can show you. I used that shade, but it's much darker doesn't look dark when I show you like that but it's a lot darker like that weird what do we want to use I would really like to use that as well the oh, look at that shade oh it's dominatrix you know all of these shades has names like that but I want to do green. But what should we have with the green? <laughs> Let's take that. And this is called La Petite Mort. I don't think you should pronounce the T, but La Petite Mort. I think it's called. Oh, there was no kick up at all from that shade. That's usually not a good sign because that means that you don't get a lot to work with. But we'll see. Maybe I could do a red eye on this side and a green on this side because I'm not going anywhere. So we could try different shades in this palette. Let's do that. Because I really want to use the yellow as well. Well, we, we do like that. You have to dip in a few times because, like I said, there is no kick up, so you don't get any extra products to work with. But it's really pigmented, and you can blend it out. Mm. I want to take that under the eye right away as well. Stoop. 
stupid eye. Let's do a halo eye. Like that. And then we are going to put on... Where did I put that brush? There is a shimmery green called Shibar, Shibari, Shibar, I don't know. Let's see if we need some spray. Oh, yep, yeah, because there is fallout. these as well. This is the pink one. Maybe we shouldn't use that but never mind. Oh, that is pretty. That color was really pretty. Mm. I want to have that under the eye as well. like that yep yep let's do the other eye oh where did I put that there Use the yellow as well. Let's take that. The yellow is called Sex. Oh, that's pigmented. Can you see that? Oh, I like that a lot. God, such a pretty shade. That's a really pretty and pigmented shade. God, I like that. And then we take bondage. It's like a burgundy red. Ooh. Why do people complain about this palette? All the shades I have used have been awesome. Well, you know, I know that a lot of people don't like Kat Von D and that's totally fine. I don't, I'm not a big fan of her either, but that does not mean that the eyeshadow is crap. God. This is really good. I'm just so impressed right now. <laughs> that yellow just blew my mind. Yeah. So freaking pigmented. I'm never 
used a yellow in that shade that is this pigmented. I'm just mind blown right now. <laughs> Why have I not used this palette before? Yep, now let's use the, it's not a red I guess, it's more like a burgundy red, whatever. God, that's so pretty. That's really pretty. Now I want to use all the shades in this palette. Oh, what is it that is tickling me? some more there like that that's better please thank you yep Yep. And I just used, let's see, I used that yellow that I know it looks more pink in the video, but that red and that one, they are more like red, um, burgundy red, I don't know. And I used that green and that green and that one as a transition shade. Now I'm going to put on some eyeliner and then I will be back. Now I'm back and I just felt like trying out this lipstick from Colourpop that's in my treasure chest because you know I have bold eyes so why don't take a bold lipstick this is the snow white one from the disney collection and i must say i was i was not planning on buying either of these palettes from kat von d i bought them when i had a discount uh, because they are very expensive in sweden um, and when i bought them i thought yeah that was you know good i i really wanted the shades but then i felt kind of bad because it got a lot of bad reviews at least the eyeshadow palette but i'm sorry but i love this eyeshadow palette so far first impression they are really pigmented you are not wasting a lot of product because there is no kick up they are super easy to blend and blend very nicely into each other the shimmers look so pretty and yeah, you know, it, now it looks a bit crazy because I have two different, you know, eye looks. But see if I can show you a bit better. That's the green eye. Let's see if I can do like this. And that's the, that yellow is one of the best yellows I have ever tried. That's in that shade. And I really, really love the blush and the highlighter. And I'm just... <laughs> I'm just mind blown <laughs> and yeah the only thing that doesn't look good right now is my base but that is like you know that's a me problem not a makeup problem I'm so happy 
<laughs> and I'm sorry if people if you don't like Kat Von D and yeah but oh my lips are very uneven but yeah I'm going to bed but I, I just love these eyeshadows they look so good yeah <laughs> that was a great first impression so, so yeah that was the eyeshadow palette and I know I like um the highlighters because you know I have have the other highlighter palette uh, but the blush that I tried was really pretty yeah I'm just mind blown <laughs> yeah but uh, thank you for watching and yeah that was all for this video <laughs>